All right, guys. So today I want to go over the top five baits for bass fishing. Okay, there's a big discussion about this. It's not very super common, you know, but it's just like everybody's gonna have their own opinions and their own top five baits that they want to use for bass fishing. However, today I'm gonna go into what I think are the top five most versatile baits for bass fishing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you what each bait is, and then I'm gonna go into more in depth about that bait, how to fish it, what to fish it on, etc. So my top five baits are a topwater hollow body frog, a jig, preferably heavy cover, some type of trick worm or finesse worm, a spinner bait, and a lipless crankbait. So my first pick for the top five bass fishing lures would have to be a trick worm. This is a zoom trick worm in green pumpkin red flake. You would w really want to go with a dark colored trick worm. Not too dark, not like black and blue, but like a green pumpkin is perfect because it works in clear water and dirty water. So it's very versatile. You can fish this on many different rigs, a shaky head, Texas rig, a drop shot. If you had to, you could punch it. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it, but you could. You could wacky rig it. You could do a lot of stuff with this. So you can use it in um, calm days, cold water. You can use it in hot water and uh, windy days. It just, it's just super, super versatile lure. Um, plus it's cheap. You know, a bag of trick worms costs you three and a half bucks and you get 20 of them. So you can catch a ton of fish on each worm. And uh, you just get a very, very good bang for your buck. And um, very, very versatile lure. You can use it almost anywhere in almost any situation. And that's why it is my number one choice for bass fishing lure. My second pick for the top five bass fishing lures would have to be a spinner bait. I like this size of spinner bait because it's a smaller profile. So it will catch more fish, but it'll also catch big fish. I've caught um, some pretty big bass. I've caught a seven pound bass on the lure on the same exact spinner bait, just a different color. And um, I've also caught some half pound bass. So you can catch a lot of fish and you can also catch some big fish. Anyway, this is the Booyah Pond Magic spinner bait. This is in a real crawl color. You can get it pretty realistic looking colors. And um, you put a little grub trailer on there and this is like a very, very well working bait for almost any weather. Um, windy, these blades put off a, um, some vibration and some flash and draw in those fish. If it's calm, you can slow roll this along the bottom and twitch it up and down. It looks like a fling bait fish. It could also look like a crawl if you crawl along the bottom. It just lo works very, very well. And um, you can just fish in almost any situation. Only problem is it's not very weedless. It'll get you caught up in some sparse vegetation and some hydrilla like that. One, I want to share a little tip with you guys. Put some a little bit of uh, small gauge wire around the front of a spinnerbait if you use snaps. Just like that. Because then you can put a snap on and the snap will be sliding all the way up here. Like it won't... If you've tried snaps on spinnerbaits before, they slide up and they slide way back here and you have... It's a messed up cast and you can't use it. So just put some wire right there and that snap stays in place there. Anyway, those are the reasons that I picked the spinnerbait for my number two choice of top five bass fishing lures. My third choice for top five bass fishing lures would have to be a jig. This is a Strike King Pro Model Jig, 3 8 of an ounce. I would really recommend to go with a heavy cover jig, just because you can use it around heavier cover, of course. But then also, if you needed to, you could cut the weed guard down and um, make it uh, just like a normal jig. This is a very versatile jig. You could swim it, you could punch it, you drag it, you could flip it, you could do a lot of stuff with this thing. I would not recommend to start off with a football head jig just because it is not very versatile. You cannot swim it at all, get caught up in grass. A football head jig is mainly used for dragging. However, this can be used for anything. It's, the head is slender enough to be used as a swim jig, but it's still like thick enough to make a lot of commotion. And uh, it's heavy enough to punch if you wanted to. And um, stick a little creature bait or a craw trailer on the back. You got yourself a very, very good bass catching machine. This will catch you lots of numbers and also lots of big fish, all right? That's the reasons that this is my number three choice of bass fishing lures. My fourth choice for top five bass fishing lures would have to be a lipless crankbait. This is a rattle trap um, 
Supernatural series lipless crankbait in a shad pattern. Um, I would really recommend this pattern. I caught fish on this in um, two inch visibility water on the same color, and I've caught fish on this in uh, eight feet visibility of water. So you can use this in pretty much any color. This is a, I believe this is a quarter ounce. Nice and loud. This is going to be your moving bait. Um, the reason I chose the lipless crankbait, you can use it in almost any depth of water. You can, as soon as it hits the water, you can start reeling it in. You can let it sink all the way to the bottom, yo-yo it off the bottom. You can slow roll it along the bottom. You can fish in open water. You can fish it around some cover. And since it's facing like this, it'll deflect off a of branch like that, at least as I've seen it. And um, it just works very, very well to catch a lot of fish. Um, you can catch big fish, but um, with this size, I would stick with the quarter rounds, but you might catch you could catch big fish but you're gonna catch a lot of numbers as well anyway this will be your moving bait for those windy days or for when the bass are actively feeding a lot and they're like short striking a bait because they're hitting it so hard um then i would use this just because it has those treble hooks and so if something sw side swipes it, it'll still get hooked uh, re whereas a spinner bait side swipe it they probably wouldn't get hooked those are the reasons that this is my fourth pick of top five bass fishing lures and finally, my fifth choice for top five bass fishing lures would have to be a topwater hollow body frog. This is a Booyah Pad Crasher frog. Um, it's a very, very good frog for the money. And um, it just works very, very well. Very soft body. The reason I chose a frog is because this is the most versatile topwater lure you can get. It has, uh, it has um, weedless hooks. So you can fish this around whatever you want to. Fish this around a very heavy cover, logs, stumps fish it over thick mats of vegetation and it still won't get caught up whereas a walking bait or a popper or anything like that the treble hooks will get all caught up so this is the most versatile topwater lure only problem is you're gonna have to use heavy braid on this thing so whereas the other lures you can get away with fluorocarbon or mono this you would definitely have to go with braid if you want to get a good hook set and be sure you land that fish but you can work this in almost any way you want to. You can fish this in almost any place you want to. And um, these frogs are very, very easy to find. And you don't have to go to any special store to find them. And those are the reasons that this is my fifth choice for top five bass fishing lures. All right, so hopefully that explains to you why I picked these five baits to be my top five bass fishing lures. If I can only choose five baits, these would, would be definitely the ones I would use. Now, some people are gonna disagree with me, but to be honest, this has a lot to do with where you live, okay? So um, just adjust it to where you live if you're on a very, very low budget. Just adjust it to where you live. Like find out what other people around you are using and figure out the top five most used baits around you and just go pick those. And if they don't work, then you can like, you could sell them and then you just go buy different baits and keep testing a bunch of different baits. Um, anyway, I picked these because I think they're the most versatile lures you can use. They aren't the best for each situation, but they will work in almost every situation. All five of these baits will cover almost every situation you will come across in the sport of bass fishing. So I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and a comment and please hit that subscribe button to see more fishing related content like this. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.